What is up, Affected, and welcome back to SCW. It is Thursday, Blitz Takedown, and we are entering the following right after the pay-per-view Royal Pain 3. That's right. If you guys saw the back-to-back -back main events at Royal Pain 3, you know that it was an absolute climax of a night, man. Seriously. And on Royal Pain Night 2, every single championship changed hands except for Stupid Asso's Welsh Championship. He is the only one that stood strong in the moment of adversity and walked out the champ. Everybody else got crowned new champions. And just for a little bit of help out there, I do plan on getting all that stuff fixed by Monday or Tuesday next week. So if you guys start doing your SCW ranks and all that stuff, you'll be able to see uh, what your titles are and, and all that stuff up to date. I would like to work on it tomorrow, but there's no guarantee, so probably more than likely it'll be Monday. I'm on the Old Harp tonight, brewed here in Ireland. Old Harp. Ooh, that sounds good. What's in the Old Harp? Tell us about the Old Harp. What's it taste like? What's it smell like? I vote the nods go through every episode and then count them. Thank you. Perfect timing right there. Appreciate you, Danny. Um, you in Santa Monica? Wait, what? 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 I'm here until my wife and mother-in-law get done dressing the little man. Uh, then the ride. Then that is back to rides. Where you at? I'm in D Land. D Land. You in Heavy D Land? Damn. SCW cynical. Uh. <laughs> You do whatever you want, but you can't beat the ref. <laughs> and then Kane retaliates back with the no hashtag. Uh, Cynical, didn't we talk about you being the Xbox, bruh? Isn't that, wasn't that you we talked about? <laughs> uh, that's not good. I might need a new phone charger. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, wait. Disneyland, Gorson, first visit. Gorson! Um, ladies and gentlemen, entering the ring right now. Mr. Undefined Don, we call him the six million cent man because he's not wearing it. It's backstage being polished, but he, right meow, is the galactic champion. Only second to the world heavyweight champion out of the entire industry, okay? Undefined Dime told everybody, told the locker room, he says, I need something. I got to take some time off. I have got to get out of my own damn head. And he did it. The dude did it. In just one month's time, he went from being the bottom of the damn barrel, honestly being a jobber on top of a jobber. Like, listen, the jobbers made him do jobs for him. That's what Undefined Dime did. And he says, I need something more. I need to be something greater. And he comes back. And not only does he come back better than ever, he also grabs the most prestigious championship in SCW history. Literally, the Galactic Championship has been around longer than the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Yeah. Tastes like if Coors and Stella had a child, but Coors was won the custody. That's heart. You know, I don't mind a, I don't mind a Stella Rosa. I don't mind a Stella. Uh, Coors, maybe a Coors Banquet, but I don't know if you guys got Banquet over there. Damn, Dom got real chatty lately. He's ready to go. Xbox, get your ass. Yes, Xbox, bruh. Cynical, we might have to get you an Xbox, bruh, sooner rather than later since Kane is talking all that smack. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cynical, um, I'm trying to think. Cynical, do you stream at all? Do you, are you a streamer? I don't remember. Uh, yes, I run him through my head horn. Nobody else gores their son. <laughs> Apparently, that's uh, Horatio's way of saying, Hi, Chad. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hi, Horatio. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, <laughs> Dime has fired the hell up. I mean, he's the champ of the night. Uh, I'm a streamer. We know you are, South Rebel. You're also a wrestler. We're also a Damn, Dime is about to peg this meter all the way the hell out. I mean, literally, when you're the top damn dude, there's a reason. I haven't streamed since Mixer went down. Damn! So you were a streamer, though. What ma what made you not want to change the platforms? I'm just I'm just curious. I also forgot to change my game here. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. We're safe now. And Dime has said all that he needed to say. I shoot an occasional stream uh, into the urinal. Well, Meast, I hope you're having a fantastic time at D-Land, at Heavy D-Land. 
Um, be safe out there, man. I hope everything treats you well. I hope the fireworks and I've never been to Disneyland. I have no idea what goes on there, but I hope everything's great. Dime crushed that performance. Well, he's the damn champ. He's literally the damn champ. Misty, you, your match is next after this one. If you, if you can figure out a way to sort of keep the, keep the mother-in-law at bay. I think I like you over Subzilla. Wait, what? <laughs> no fireworks tonight, but we are having fun. Well, that's awesome. As a mod, I should know how to change the game title, but I don't. It's all good. Like, it, it's not a big deal for me to do it now. Now, before, like, before I swapped to OBS and all this stuff, dude, it would have taken my stream down. Just, ugh, it would have just been bad. Um, but yeah. What? you never been to Disneyland? No, I haven't. I, th they're too far away from me, man. I'm in the middle of the damn United States, okay? There's only two damn Disneylands. One's on the West Coast, one's on the East Coast, and they're about the same damn distance away from me, and I don't like to fly. I've never been on an airplane. Never been on an airplane. Um, so no, I, I've never, I, and I would love Disneyland. I love roller coasters and rides and stuff. Disney is spectacular. There was a, there was a small plan um, in like, in the year 2020, this is this was planned in 2019. There was a a small little uh, circle and nerd fest we were gonna do. Um, we were gonna take a small road trip and swing around and see a bunch of people and end up in Florida and go to Disneyland. That was the plan, but of course, COVID hit, the world fell apart, and uh, just didn't get a chance to do it. All right, opening battle tonight: Amber Nicole versus Fallen's Angel. Disney Paris. That's way far away. Also, quit streaming since I broke my laptop. Uh, you know what? That that definitely hinders from streaming. Did you break your laptop on purpose or was it an oopsie daisy? Wait, you never been on an airplane? No, they're expensive. They go up away from the like the ground. I like being on the ground. Actually, there's a few more in different countries. Blazed, blazed, blazed. What makes you think if I'm not going to go to the one locally that I'm going to get a damn passport and then go globally? Somebody look at Blaze and Point. Uh, <laughs> I feel that. It's been over 20 years for me uh, since I've been on a plane. See? See? Trenzor gets it. I love planes. Uh, it's been two years since I've been on a plane. Do, do you miss it? Do you want to go back? Do you want to eat the peanuts? Like, what's appealing other than, other than going out and not having to drive? What's appealing about being on a plane? Uh, the plane, boss, the plane. What's going on, Royals? How are you? Welcome in. Good to see you. Look at this, newly crowned United States champion, Amber Nicole, took it from Allison Chainmail. Allison Chainmail was definitely the longest running United States champion. Uh, she took it from Lady Bells, uh, longest running, and then last week, Amber Nicole stole that belt from Allison Chainmail. Allison Chainmail streamer, right here on Twitch, and also uh, TikToker. Well, you said there's only two. There's only two in the country. If, if I'm going to go to any other country, it's going to be Canada. Okay? Okay? I'm not going to go to Paris. Paris is where all the tourists go. And they, they try to hold up, like, the Eiffel Tower. And they try to kiss with baguettes and crap. I'm not going to Paris. Ugh. <laughs> Plane travel is horrid nowadays. Just cattle cars in the air. You know what's not a cattle car? My damn super damn fast Camaro. Um... A trip over the dog in the dark and landing on top of my laptop. That sucks. That sucks. But cynical man, if we're gonna if we're gonna make you the Xbox bro, I'm gonna need to know kind of what you look like. Do you have like an Instagram or something? Disney is two and a half hour drive for me. Well, look at you bragging. Look at you bragging. You can go to Australia or Japan, game man. <laughs> the only parts that are kind of nerve wracking are the takeoff and landing, but the actual ride is pretty smooth aside from the occasional turbulence. Yeah, I'm good. Doing good, just chilling, watching this. Uh, I've gotten further in Resident Evil 7. Oh, are you playing the VR? What do you what what kind of Resident Evil are you playing? I mean, I know it's seven, Sancho. No. No. Jizzy, come to Norway and to ski. I would break my ass right in half. Fallen Angel putting two boots to the face of Amber Nicole. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do got a wrestling match going on in here. I know we're all I know we're all jump on the the nerdy um, uh, point train that hasn't been on an airplane, but we've got wrestling match going on, and these two never disappoint. Fallen Angel, former multi-time champion, Amber Nicole. This is her second or third title run, uh, but yeah, definitely uh, caliber champions up in here. Gold edition on my PS4. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
I, I, I haven't played a Resident Evil game since the first one. Uh, I highly enjoyed it, but I hated the mechanics of it. I wanted a, like, what I want in a Resident Evil game is basically Grand Theft Auto, but Resident Evil. That's what I want. But they don't make that. You would have to drag me out of play. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm in favor. Of, I'm in. I'm in my favor. I'm a fat ass, so that won't be easy. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I look at it too. That's how I look at it too. Uh, there's one place I would never go, and that's the USA. Hey, you know what, Monger? I don't blame you at all, man. I don't blame you at all. I love the United States, but it is flawed AF, man. There's some great stuff here, like cheeseburgers and. Um, fireworks and stuff but there's some bad stuff here too so i don't blame you at all falling from the top misses crash and burn heading to space mountain clinging clinging <laughs> clinging on to stay on the phone well Mies, like i said your backstage match is next i was kind of hoping trance would be able to pop in early um but i think he's got to go to work way too early tonight but it's all good gabriel how the hell are you um when, when me said space mountain i instantly thought of uh rick flair I don't know why. I don't know why. But Royals, man, I do appreciate you stopping in. <clears throat> Hopefully this Thursday is treating you well. Uh, except it will ruin what made Resident Evil such a great game, survival horror game. You're supposed to survive hordes of zombies, not shoot them up. No, no, no. I agree. Amber Nicole from the top misses. What I, what I hate is that camera view where the camera is stationed at this point and your character's got to run like around the camera. That's what I don't like. Uh-oh. Fallen was going for the chop down, and Amber caught her. Oh, and a headbutt. If the cops don't have guns, then maybe I would go to the U.S. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, Meast, I will be here and tell you all about it. That's right. That's right. Um, 2K glitch fest, I predicted. No, no, it's not going to be glitchy. It's going to be fine. We're, we're doing good. I only had two camera glitches tonight. So, again, I don't know what happened, but it's fine. Amber Nicole, the United States champion, going for the pin on Fallen, the assless chap wonder. I have everything around me. Disney, Legoland, Busch Gardens, Adventure Island, SeaWorld, and some others all in driving distance. That's awesome. That sounds amazing, man. Damn, I would go to all those daily. Amber Nicole comes out with the elbow. Same with what Cynical said. Well, aren't y'all just lucky living in Florida with the nice damn weather? Oh, two knees to the face. They take down. Oh, and Amber playing opossum. Caught her with the legs. Takes her back down. Amber Nicole, of course, fights barefoot. Got to get permission to post links, Nemo. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you do, Nemo. What, what were you trying to post? Anyway, what's going on? Amber going for the pin. It's damn sure not going to be enough on the assless chap wonder. Damn sure not. Oh, it was a bot. Gotcha. Well, it didn't instantly time out, so that's what curi made me curious. Amber, Nicole, perched up high. Fallen. Doesn't see it coming. Oh, got caught with that flying crossbody. My drive to Legoland was almost two hours. Why aren't you just braggy braggy? I'd love to go to Legoland. Amber from the top. Caught her that time. Neckbreaker from the top. Top ramen. One, two. No. No. So close. Cannot believe that didn't put her away. Amber going to go for a second one. Fallen smartly goes to the outside. You can't hit the finishing maneuver if you're on the outside of the ropes. It was awesome. I got a Batmobile. Oh, I want to go to Disneyland or Disney World because of Star Wars. Oh, yeah, I would never leave that area. I'd want to build my own droid, build my own lightsaber. Oh, my God, I would spend so much money. I'd be like, yeah, let's, let's add another credit card debt. Amber with a kick to the back. Proving why she is the current champ. Anyway, how is the cult of Shay and Vladdy doing? Going for the pin. Bay Valley not in position. One, two, Whoa, are you serious? Even Amber Nicole can't believe this. I have been to Legoland once, and that was when I was three. Still counts. Legoland is awesome for Star Wars Day, I bet. We have Carowinds here, like Six Flags, but sits half in North Carolina and half in South Carolina. Interesting. Do they have, like, wooden coasters and stuff? Because I love wooden roller coasters. They beat the absolute hell out of you, but I, I love that sound. Just that clickety-clack sound. Amber Nicole putting the sleeper. Putting, oh my gosh, she's got her in the sleeper. And it's a submission. And of course, Fallen Angel taps out. You're going to tap out to the damn champ. Seriously. You're damn sure going to tap out to the champ. Purple, are you still here, man? I'm just curious. Purple Army. 
uh, put together three hours. Damn! Uh, I want to go to Disney World someday. I've been to Disneyland so many times, but not Disney World. My daughter and her boyfriend are planning a trip to Disney for the next summer, and I've been invited to go. You should definitely go, 100%. I'm stuck in Ireland. The nearest thing we have to Legoland is whiskey distilleries. And you know what? That's fantastic, dude. Go for it. Go for it. Do it now. Uh, took down their last wooden like five. Oh, man. God, I love wooden coasters. I love that. I've never been. It should, it should be fun. Damn right. That was a really solid match, by the way. I know we got distracted by tra by plane travel and all this stuff. But honestly, these two put on a solid clinic. Oh, no. It's Amber to... <laughs> Amber Nicole needs to watch out. It's Allison Chainmail. Allison Chainmail coming back for a little bit of redemption. <gasps> what? Northern Light Suplex. Allison Chainmail trying to get a little bit of revenge on Amber Nicole. Look at this. Fallen doesn't want to know damn part of it. Disney works or land. Legos and whiskey. What could go wrong? Damn right. Amber Nicole getting her comeuppance for taking that championship from Allison Chainmail. Allison caught Amber. Amber just had a hellacious match. I told you guys it was a great match. And now Allison going to take a little bit more. Oh, perfect back body drop. Folds her up. And the ref says, get the hell out of here. Bay Ballady trying to do this. Trying to break up these two. Here comes Allison running knee. Putting that chainmail to the face. And the crowd is going absolutely Wild for this. LSD is pissed. Wow. Apparently this rivalry is nowhere close to over. Damn. Damn. Maced, you're up. Maced, about to ride the damn log down the damn water slide. He got his phone up like that. I'm going to be winning. All of a sudden his phone dies. He got to put it in rice. Um, no, I've, I've never been, I've been to a couple six flag locations and a couple of like local parks and stuff, but I've never been to a Disney world or Disneyland or, um, any of the big giant ones. Unfortunately, I'm still here. LSD is pissed. <clears throat> Trance cowboy cashed in for that backstage championship. He did it so quickly that DMK literally said hi and then left tonight. That's how mad DMK is that he did not get his opportunity. But here comes Trance Cowboy, who recently just became the Australian heavyweight champion, taking on Meast, who is the current backstage champion. <clears throat> huh. Phone and rice? Yeah, if you drop your phone in water, you're supposed to put it in a bag of rice, and it soaks up all the moisture and saves it. See, after all these years, your Irish accent is still <laughs> close to Scottish. I know! I know, but you know what? At least I attempted it. At least I attempted it. Nerdy, you seem like a SeaWorld kind of guy. Oh, I would totally go to SeaWorld. Damn right, man. Oh, big back body drop. Uh, I'm still standing better than I ever did. Better than he ever was. What do you need for me for a character? Well, I need, like, height, ballpark, weight, you know? Um, like, that's why I asked if you have an Instagram. Like, I do most of my work through Instagram. That's where I tag people. Mies caught him, belly. Oh, no, and Trance rolls through. That carpet's got him caught. That's why I asked if you had an Instagram. It's easy for me to sort of, like, mimic a character after you that way. But if you just got, like, colors or something that you like, your favorite color, like Mies likes purple hats. Trance using a headbutt. Trance likes Canadian tuxedos, that kind of thing. Um, I'd, I'd definitely go to SeaWorld. Ride a dolphin or something, damn right. Can you ride dolphins at SeaWorld? After all these years. <laughs> Always. There it is. Dropping the beat. Ooh, we're getting close. Trance taking a trash can to me. Hit him hard. Bent that trash can up. Watch this. Canadian uppercut. Caught him running through. Oh, Meast. Clamoring off that table. Gotta watch it. Meast on the ropes here. His championship is on the line. Whacking, waving, inflatable arm, inflatable hood butt. <laughs> Now he's got him in a headlock. Trance brushes it off. Sends him back across. Whoa, Meese not sure he wants to run. and runs directly into a chair. That was weird. Shayshai says, dear Lord. Shayshai had um, Chipotle tonight and didn't even offer to share. Watch this running gut buster. Boom, he's put X-Files away with that. <laughs> Those were certainly words. What did I do? Remember the King of the Hill episode? With the dolphin. Uh, not offhand. No, no. 
Trans Cowboy meeting the inside of that locker. It's probably South Rebel's locker. Why does everyone mess with the trash can? We have a solid relationship. <laughs> I don't share my Chipotle. What what's your go-to Chipotle? T tell me about your tell me about your go-to meal. Trance trying to put him. And he does. Oh, I thought he was gonna put him through that television. Oh, he's gonna do it! Trance Cowboy is putting away the sorry A. Gonna spear him into that television. Meast goes down. Meast is down. Trance making sure he is officially put away. That's not enough. How is that not enough? Meese, the beast from the west, is still up and at him. Wow. That trash can is my husband. You shush. When is my backstage fight? That'll be Tuesday, Dan. Tuesday. Trance officially going to put him. No, no. Meese with the perfect reversal. Sends him into the damn locker. Meesty waiting for the perfect opportunity. The backstage championship is on the line. Trance, dazed and confused. A little bit of electrical stuck in his wrist. Garen, damn, teed. Meast just waiting. Got him up. Watch this Measty gut buster. Meast buster again. Oh, and it's not even over. Using that headbutt and Trance is bleeding. Trance is busted wide open in this backstage match. Wow, I thought it was going to be over 20 minutes ago. Are you serious? Trance meeting the inside of that locker. Meast had a damn nuff. Got him up. Plants him straight down, and Meast <laughs> retains the backstage damn championship. Wow, what a match. What a damn match, dude. That should have been over when he got put to the television. Holy crap. That was insane. Dennis. All right, sorry. Steak bowl. White rice, black beans, pico, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, and guac. I'll have all that except for the guac. You stuff everything in a burrito and eat it all. That's the Chipotle order. <laughs> That's hope I felt about ladder. True. How you felt about ladder. Yeah, ladder and trash can. Last time I ate Chipotle, I wasn't very impressed. I haven't been back since. I mean to try it one more time. Maybe go to a different one. Don't don't go to that specific one because I like Chipotle a lot. Been taking supplements to fight Croc again. Apparently, dude. Who's paying for a new TV? It comes out of Dan Frode's paycheck. We already know. Uh, quite the back and forth in that match. Yeah, the fact that somebody went through the television and still won? Damn. Mies and I are a great team. Uh, GG. Okay, back to family time. Have a great night. Meast. have a wonderful time, dude. Seriously. Take pictures. Have fun. I ate a lot of fast food and still have a six-pack. Damn. Look at you, mongrel. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's that's kind of how it is when you're young. You're able to, like, do all that. You you can, like, take a walk up a flight of stairs and lose 12 pounds, man. Like, that's just, the older you get, the harder it gets, man. Seriously. Um, Modder Wolf, sorry. I was trying to remember the Scottish fella from years ago. Yes, Modder. Yeah, Modder. He actually, um... He shares a birthday with somebody. Um, damn, who does he share a birthday with? Not S Fox. Dang. I'm, I I don't remember offhand because I want to say he's like January or February. I gotta look. I'm curious. Yeah, I st I still have people's birthdays. Oh, it's Purple Army. Yeah, okay. So, so Modder, um, Modder and Purple Army share a birthday. Yeah. Yeah. And Purple Army was here earlier. I don't know how, I don't, uh, I don't know where there is another one. That Chipotle is like an hour and 30 minutes away from me as it is. You know what? Gotta try it. Let's do this match. I hath returned from dinner. Tis wild adventure in the frosty wonderland. What did you get for dinner? Tell me more. Uh, my goal is to get... 84 kilograms. What is that in freedom units? Uh, oh, wow. You still hear from uh, S-Fox and Modern? I hear from S-Fox. I haven't heard from Modern in a while. Um, I know he still collects, but I haven't heard from him in a bit. Um, I share my birthday with Robert Downey Jr. Undefined Dime, you missed your hell of a microphone performance. And you're in the main event tonight, Undefined Dime, by the way. Um, excellent birthday, twin. Yes. 
Um, rib crib, baby. Chicken fried steak with gravy. What the hell's a rib crib? I'm at 15. I don't know. <laughs> freedom units. Yeah, freedom units. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Lucha Freddy, a real legit professional wrestler, has held legit professional wrestling championships in real life, and here he graces SCW this presence. Currently the kink champion, but uh, at the pay-per-view Royal Pain 3, he 100% got screwed out of his other championship, the Operation Hug the World belt, and uh, yeah, he got screwed out of it by me. <laughs> you don't know rib crib, bro? Come oh my God, come here. <laughs> it's a barbecue spot. I haven't heard of it. It sounds good, though. What the hell's a rib crib? Looks like 187. That's what you want to be? You want to be 187? Oklahoma delicacy. Um, Lucha Freddy should be the leader of a faction. It should be named Queen. <laughs> we just got to get other people that look like Brian May. Coming to the ring right now, the Raven-armed Twitch streamer and current nerd champion. That is the third highest championship belt that you can achieve. Right now, the Raven-armed is undefeated. He's like Goldberg. The dude, every match he has been in, he has won. He is undefeated. Tonight, he finds himself in tag team action. Can he still continue that winning streak? I don't know. Guess so, say. We have them back in Amarillo, too. Um, so while organizing my clothes, I found my vintage Russian Mickey Mouse shirt. Hello. Yes. That's pretty damn cool. Did you get it from there or what? I stand corrected. I stand corrected by wifey, Shay. It is indeed an Oklahoma thing. <laughs> uh, wait, what, what did we call her the other night? It wasn't 7 Eleven. What 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 did we call your what, what did we call your wifey the other night? Wanna know something? I'm in the gym right now. Pumping him iron, you got to get pumped up. Cutie, thank you. QT, yeah, yeah. That's the third highest championship you can achieve. Nerdy making shit up as he goes. No, it really is. The one and Dennis was the nerd champion. Until Royal Pain, he met up with the Raven Armed, and now he walks to the ring beltless. Beltless. When did Johnny Depp get an SCW? Uh, when you became World Heavyweight Champ, just things started falling apart, Lethal. He's taking over, Lethal. <laughs> Thrift Store. Okay, cool. <laughs> One end, Dennis. March into the ring. Definitely wants his... Uh, Revenge, and of course, the one end Dennis, the only current member of the Cult of Lethal. And you know Lethal's going to be watching backstage, making sure that his disciple continues uh, <laughs> continues the winning streak. Um, but I found it via eBay. It's a $65 shirt. Damn. Well, that's awesome. Next you to call this fucking DC, Disney Championship Wrestling. <laughs> That would be hilarious, by the way, dude. Big giant Mickey Mouse championship belt. Oh, boy. I can't wait to be fighting. <laughs> and as much as I hate it, because I was granted a damn championship belt by Lucha Freddy, it's me. The Operation Hug the World Champion in my Canadian tuxedo. Da fancy Disney shirt. <laughs> if it wasn't going to take so long, I would do like a Disney night and everybody wears like a Disney shirt, but it would take me too damn long. Uh, Durst is actually in 2K22 as a DLC. No. <laughs> Disney Championship Wrestling. JCW. There already is a JCW. Listen, listen. We can't make the Juggalos upset that I copied their, their acronym. But it would be epic. Took the belt from Lucha Freddy. I tell you what, Shay, if you win March's, um, if you win March's um, viewer stream choice, then you can make one night only a Disney uh, wrestling night. You gotta win it. You gotta win it. Not like Lady Bells, who fell asleep like 20 minutes ago. Disney match. Dennis and his poncho that he got from Lethal. Lethal literally. Started the cult of lethal just to be funny. 
And then Dennis joined, and Lethal and Dennis is like, "Hey, you got any like cult shirts?" And Lethal literally went out back and he dug this. Uh, it's an old tarp. He says, "Yeah, um, here, wear this." And Dennis has worn it with pride ever since. It has been noted. Um, I'm only trying to help. Stop. Putting, what the hell happened, Kane? <laughs> what the hell? Oh Lord. Or we could call it LC Lethal Championship Wrestling. Okay, listen, he's the World Heavyweight Champion, not, not the Lord of this. I made a clip. Why can't you post it? I don't know why you can't post it. That's weird. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. No. No, I don't. Do not ask me if I want a Sprite Cranberry. I'm not asleep. I'm diamond painting and listening to your smexy voice, sir. No, right I am. Chip, chip, cheerio. You know, Trenzorg's listening to my sexy voice. Lucha Freddy going against the one N Dennis. There you go. Uh, Subzella got you permission, Kane. Appreciate you making the clip, though. Seriously. <laughs> Mickey Mouse set the debut. No! <laughs> Subzilla for the win. Very sexy indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lucha Freddy and myself, we've got a small rivalry going. Of course, Dennis and the Raven Arm. Uh-oh, double underhook, backbreaker. Lucha Freddy looking for a little bit of redemption. Will he get it? Elb Ooh, it's more like a wrist punch right there. Not straight on forearm, but like rolled him all the way down to the elbow. Shoulder block, takedown. Bay Ballady still bopping around the ring, and Kane's toothbrush is just glaring from the backstage. Double underhook, caught him. Oh, yes, Daddy. Takedown, Raven one. Hey, 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 hey. You got to get him with the headline. <laughs> Lucha Freddy doing the roll. Smack in the back of the head. Sorry, my minion Bob Diamond Painting keeps calling me. You're good, Lady Viz. I just, like, it doesn't mean anything. I just got to call names out. It's something for me to talk about. Lucha Freddy cannot get to the Raven. <clears throat> I'm just doing my job. Subzilla being the perfect mod this evening. Lucha Freddy coming in hard. Elbow drop. Diamond paintings are fun. Lady Bells has been at it recently. I like that butterfly one she did. She posted on Instagram. Make sure you guys do check out Lady Bells on Instagram. Post a lot of great stuff over there. And I like that not a lot of people, well, yeah, not a lot of people update their life. We find again down Lucha Freddy. Great to see you. How are you? How was your stream the other night? I'm so sorry I didn't get the chance to pop in. I think it was Sunday night you were you were streaming. Um, but yeah, not a lot of people they they um, they don't stream they don't they don't talk about their their personal life on their Instagram. Not not that I follow at least. But Lady Bells and I, Shay Shy definitely do both of them. They post their their personal life and it's fun to see that, especially because they're on different ends of the the spectrum. You know, New York versus down by the beach and stuff. So it's pretty cool to see that. There's nothing in my life that's interesting to talk about. Dime, there damn sure is because you're the champion. Life updates, diming art, and random... Yeah, exactly. Speaking of sexy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucha Freddy up in here. Nerdy, you're getting your butt kicked. I know, that's why I'm tagging Dennis back in, so he can get back at the Raven Armed. If I updated my life all the time, it'd be nothing but cats. Cats are adorable. I am, uh, I am highly, highly allergic to cats, but I can still find them adorable, even though they might try to kill me. Uh, streams have been interesting, um for the last little bit, but thanks. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I saw you on, and I saw you post that you were streaming, but I just didn't get a chance to stop in because I, I think it was later than my bedtime or close to it. PUBG nearly murdered my PC. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's why you play Fort Ca Fort Fort Knight? I'm in favor of cats. <laughs> Woo! Robert Allen, I was just talking about you the uh, just a few minutes ago, dude. Great to see you. My life are boring. Um, yeah, my life is boring too. Don't you worry. Do you want a dog? Hell no, I don't want no damn dog. <laughs> Knife Fort. <laughs> Fort Knife. <laughs> Fort Knife. Yes, yes, we're getting them all. Okay, so I just created an Instagram account and followed you. All right, so you did not have to do that, man. We could have just spoke. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Seneca, we got to get you in as the Xbox, bro. We got to get you in as the Xbox. But that'd be a great storyline. And that way you could maybe shut up that Kane's toothbrush. Dennis throwing the Raven armed into the corner. 
And now the double team action goes at hand. I have a question about the brand championship redemption. Yes, South, what's your question? Cats are evil, just saying. <laughs> you hate dogs? I don't hate dogs. I just don't want dogs. There's a difference. I like dogs. Big old smooth dogs. Um, big lawn dart kick right there. And the raven arm is down. Going for that pin. I'm thinking of redeeming it. Okay. Well, X-Files redeemed it on Monday, on Tuesday. I'm also allergic to cats, by the way. No, I, it's, it's, I mean, I'm not saying yours isn't, but I'm very bad with it. Like, it doesn't take very long before, like, my face starts swelling up and I can't breathe. Like, it's, it's terrible. And like I said, I like cats. I think cats are cool. But I cannot be around them for very long. Uh, no, never mind. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Multiple punches to the face of the raven armed. Uh, I got a horse that thinks he's a dog. That happens. Yeah, that definitely happens. Uh, listen, you have not seen the last of <laughs> of Kane's toothbrush in SCW. No, no, you're still in a rivalry with damn Babality. I would shut up the Kane's toothbrush, but the referee do it well. Oh, smack talk. Horse are just big puppies. I will save my points. Well, hang on, South. I'll tell you how it works. I ain't got a problem with that. <clears throat> I'm saving my points up for something special. I'm not eating bugs tonight. Damn it, Stu. Oh, submission! Right in front of Lucha Freddy. And Lucha Freddy's pitching a bitch on the outside, just stomping the ring apron. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? And it was me who submitted the Raven Arm right in front of him. Like, yeah, you like that, Lucha Freddy? Yeah, you want this championship back? You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. And all the Ravens down there tapping like, let me out. Like, you're not going to get it, Lucha Freddy. See that neck vein cut pop out? You see that neck vein? <laughs> what a maneuver. <laughs> Rigged. I know. I'm allergic to cats, but I accept my fate with their cuteness overloads me. Um, <laughs> at least I made my own character. True. Uh, I get super yuck around cats after being around there for a little bit. It's no fun. It's not. It's really not. I love horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figures that the chick who drinks only seltzer water and watches this show wearing her nicest pearls would love horses. Nerdy has the thing going with Freddy. You damn right we do. And now, right now, me and Dennis rocked that match. Lethal in the wings going, hmm, we might have another one to fall in the cult of Lethal. The only cats I respect are Tom and Garfield. <laughs> Why do you keep holding the invisible thing in front of me? That's because that championship is right there. It's the John Cena championship. You just can't see it. <laughs> but see, Uncle, who shut up Kane Superbush? You'd be coming. Oh, South Rebel talking smack. You're winners. Come on now. I grew up around farms. I love them. Yes. Yes, that's right. You would you would take the weekends. It's be like, mm, oh, I hope that Mumsy. This is this is my impression of Shay Shy as a little kid. I hope that Mumsy takes us out to the farms this weekend so we can ride our ponies. We don't actually take care of them, but I like to brush them and ride them weekly. Mm, yes, yes. I call this one Muffin. Yes, this is my Muffin horsey. Bring me my Chardonnay. You're six Chardonnay. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, South, um, the way it works, <laughs> jerker facts. Hmm? I'm excited for that derby deer. Wait, what? I'm excited for the derby deer. Hmm, yes, that's right. Let's wear our giant hats. Hmm. Look at my big giant sun hat. Let's drink our salsa water and wear my pearls. Uh, <laughs> I love my cats. I couldn't imagine life without them. Understandable. So, South, if, if you redeem, I think it's 30,000 points. If you redeem it, you, that night, whatever night it is, if you did it right now, you would challenge for the championship of the brand that you're on, okay? So if you're on Monday, Tuesday, you challenge for the SCW World Heavyweight Championship. If you're on Wednesday, Thursday, you challenge for the Galactic Championship. That night, one-on-one, -on -one, no stipulations. So that's the way that works. If you cash in for 30,000 uh, 30, points, boom. You instantly challenge. And that, there is, a, there is a, an Angels one as well, by the way. Ladies out there. Um, there is an Angels one. An, the Subzilla, Merpity, Cooking, Lady Bells. Uh, Lady Bells really couldn't do it. She'd be wasting points if she did. Um, but you guys could do it as well. It's, it's there. It's available. But yeah, you'd literally challenge that night. Uh, X-Files is the first one to do it. He actually did it on Tuesday night and lost to Lethal. Um, did I switch nights? 
I do love mimosas. <laughs> CLB and Shay in a rivalry? No. Uh, cynical. Ignore the matches from Lady Bell's lawyers. <laughs> I got my own towel side. I made that my biatch. True, true, true. I might like mimosa if I ever tried that. Mimosas are great, dude. They're fantastic. That's why I don't cash my points, and I got the points to do it. I know you do. I know you do. Uh, can it be done if we don't have a character? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, yes, but no. All right, let's do this tag team. If it's fruity, I like it. I'm definitely, a, I'm definitely a fruity guy. Uh, I'm definitely a fruity guy, man. I, it's got a, it's got like, I can drink straight up whiskey and stuff, but like, I like stuff that's got a little flair to it. You know what I mean? Sorry, Canada's talking. To you. Damn, South Rebel talking so much smack. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring right now, Murpity, Murpity, the former nun champion. Got the belt taken from her at Royal Pain. She literally embraced the nun life after claiming that championship belt. And now, still embracing that nun life, she is on a mission to get that title back. You are a fruity guy. Yeah, I know. I know. I damn sure am. Damn sure am. I've also been drinking the uh, Starlight Coca-Cola this evening. It's a uh, toasted marshmallow and Coke. Dark match idea, me and Kane. No, 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 no. Well, I know that Lady Bells can handle her business unlike Kane. This Nicole. Uh now I have none. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Turbo Zoo, the Monday Tuesday show, cooking with Shay Shy. She got a little mad. She got a little mad. If you guys don't know the backstory of Cooking with Shay Shy, she actually has the nickname the bad girl of SCW. There's a reason. She actually has that name. I didn't say it. That is literally what she is called. She, she came with that title, the bad girl of SCW, which means she can do as she damn well pleases. And if she wants to cross over the night, listen, she is the Rising Phoenix champion. Champions can do as they damn well please. And you know what? Murphy was looking for a tag team partner tonight, and she called up her friend, cooking with Shay Shy. Shay Shy crossed over for a little bit. Can't tell me what to do. That's right. She was drinking mimosas, eating Chipotle. Feel the burn. Wow, Cynical is still salty. This douchebag didn't get as many stars as mine. <laughs> really want to try it now. I'm going to have to go to the store tomorrow and look for it. Look for what? Mimosas? You got to make them. You gotta make the mimosas. You gotta get the muddle right, man. Mmm, Chipotle. Uh, go put the ring together, Sal. Oh, Kane! Ooh! <laughs> oh my God! Wow! Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Message, CLB. Really? I might have to pop over to the other show and check out the talent. Wait, I thought mimosas was champagne and orange juice. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm thinking of Mai Tais. <laughs> I'm thinking of Mai Tais. Those are great, too, by the way. Anyway, that's Jinxie, the backpack, a lethal C5K, and current nun champion. I'm over here like, um, you still gotta make it. <laughs> no, no Coke Starlight. I'm sorry. <laughs> also delicious. That sounded like you were describing a mojito. I know. <laughs> And the money begins to fall, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. She actually currently has two championship belts, but there's only one that matters. I don't even know what a muddle is. There's only one that matters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children across the land, the angel omni champion corporate lady bells she sold her soul for that championship and it has been nothing but pay off every single second of her career it's a stick you crush fruit and herbs and alcohol and make a cocktail hey what's going on jack happy thursday 
damn right, damn right, because tomorrow's Friday, and Friday is basically you struggle through the day so you can get to the weekend, okay? Nobody works hard on Fridays. Never buy a washing machine or a dishwasher or a refrigerator that was built on a Friday. Check the manufacturer date, Google it, make sure it wasn't built on a damn Friday because nobody works on Friday. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Sounds too complicated. You're right, you're right. Champagne and orange juice, but you got to make your own. Don't buy the shit from the store. Just go get champagne, get you some orange juice. Bloop. Can't wait for 2K22. Jack, are you going to buy it straight out the gate? Are you going to be like first one in line? Are you going to get the super pack and all that jazz? Um, I like my drinks like I like my hand. Straight out the pocket and ready to make me regret the next day. Yep, well, that whiskey will do that to you. Jinxie and Murpity tied up at Royal Pain 3. Jinxie came out the winner. Murpity wants some revenge, and that's why she called up her friend Cooking with Shay Shy, the current Rising Phoenix champion. Murphy's out for vengeance. You damn right she is. Um, I'm currently involved in the storyline. You can try and get creative to come up with something for you. Damn! Kane's toothbrush talking to so much smack tonight. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I like that we got kind of a three way going on in here South, Cynical, and Kane. It's pretty damn good. Murphy taking Jinxie up by her damn hair. That's just, that's just dastardly, okay? European uppercut. Jinxie, I think, is definitely the tallest in this match. Standing at five foot eight, letting y'all know, by the way, by the way, uh, for the PS4 Standard Edition. Hey, you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with the damn PS4. That's what I'm using right now. Three-way where? Robert Allen Baker. Jinxie up over caught her. No, back around again. The constant reversals. These guys have been watching tapes. Got her. Big back body drop. They attacked weekly, but they did. CLB and I will just pull up a couple of chairs. I love that this has just been, it's just been them. <laughs> they, they don't even want to tag in. I'm going to include them in a storyline. Wow, I'm an inch taller than, wow, an inch taller than me. I'm getting a PS5. Finally, it's on the truck. Awesome. Uh, on March 11th, 2020. Is that when it comes out? Damn, I didn't know it was that quick. 14 days. I'm jealous, Robert. Yeah, no doubt. Not that I would buy, even if I had an opportunity to buy a PS5, I still wouldn't. And finally, the tag in. Tag team maneuvers. Murphy drop toe hold. Shay dropping the elbow to the back. Lady Bells looking for that tag and caught it. The hot tag. Corporate Lady Bells and Shay. Oh, Shay got caught with a drop kick. Lady Bells likes to toss her whole body across the ring for no damn reason. We don't know why. I'll bring the margarita, Shay. Ooh. I got snacks. That sounds awesome. Apparently, my GM will only have two titles per brand, no tag. Oh, are you serious? It's just awful. Why are they doing that? Nobody wants that. Shea with a dirty pin. Look at that. Just pushing Lady Bells' face into the mat. Why? Why? Shea sending Bells into the corner. Oh, a spear, but Lady Bells caught her with a DDT. Never cross the boss. Listen. Listen. We talk about the big time championships, okay? We talk about the top dog, the Angels champion, the Re Fi Rising Phoenix, the Goddess champion, the Duchess champion. We talk about all that, but there's one that rules them all, and that is the Omni. The Omni, currently held by Corporate Lady Bells, and you don't get that just by losing. No, you get it by paying your way, paying off the referees, paying off the men in the back. Getting where you need to go. And Lady Bells damn sure did it. And you think she's going to go down in this match? Not a chance. Toss a shay shine to them damn stairs. At least Bells and I can get over ourselves. Damn. Damn. I'm 5'1 and jumping over the top rope. What in the world? Very athletic. Merpity shaking. <laughs> I do really feel like I'm I'm ripping off Twisted Senses look tonight. I really do. I've got the I've got the weird long goatee. I've got the hair all doing some stuff. Twisted, I'm so sorry I stole your your look, dude. Well, I financed it, so it's gonna be about a thousand bucks. Hee <laughs> What the are you serious? Lady Bells and Shay couldn't keep their hands off of one another. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a draw. Can I join your show, Effect? So, Jack, the way it works is, man, the longer you hang out in the show, 
the longer I get to know you and the more opportunities you'll have to join. That's it. You don't have to sub. You don't have to follow. You don't have to follow. Just uh, the more times that you're here, like like Cynical. Cynical, how long how long have you been a follower? It hasn't been very long. Like Cynical, maybe a month, maybe two months, something like that. Um, yeah, you have way more of the beard that I could grow. My white trash won't let me grow. Hey, 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 trust me. This took a long time. And I, I've got to brush it to certain areas to make it fill in, okay? Like, it's really long right here so that I can fold it over the bare spots. It's been longer than two weeks. It's been way longer than that. <laughs> <clears throat> she was still in Bermuda, apparently. I missed the end. My computer's acting up. I'm guessing it was a double count out. Indeed, yes. Bells and Shay Shy just could not get over each other on the outside, and looks like even more of a rivalry might be happening. Comb over beard. Yes, it's a thing. I would have to glue hair in some places because I have patch. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel you. Thinking about those margaritas, no damn doubt. Cynical. It, it has to be longer than two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. Um, pecs for days. Um, yeah, definitely thinking about them damn margaritas. But sounds really good, by the way. Um, I wasn't always a tequila fan, but three years, Stu. <laughs> we all we all know it's way longer than that, Stu. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Jack. Um, well, it wasn't Jake. Jack, yeah, Jack. That's the way it is, man. So the more often you're here, the more I get to know you, and boom, we'll slide you in there. I've been following for a couple of moments, but sadly I've been too busy to attend many shows. Gabriel, I still appreciate you though. See, that's key. That's key, man. I, I do appreciate you when you can when you can pop in. And Gabriel, it's not like I haven't noticed you. I've I've got like four people I've got to create right now, not including cynical, but I've got four people I've got to include. Um, so we're still kind of working on that. So. Uh, I'm here, late as always. Curtis, you arrived perfectly when you needed to be. Follow it. Unless Twitch made me unfollow and refollow. Man, I thought it's been a long time, man. I thought it's been a minute. I'm not a fan of tequila, but frozen margaritas are my jam. Yeah, well, Patron is really good. I like Patron a lot. Uh, Patron, you can damn near drink out the bottle. Um, but like Jose Cuervo out the bottle? Nah. But Jose Cuervo margaritas all damn day long. Uh, I make killer readers. I bet you do. I bet you. And then you, you probably serve like mini tacos and like queso dip and freshly cut jalapenos and stuff like that. Man, I bet, I bet you make a full smorgasbord of stuff. That's what I hear the Patron, but it's so expensive. Right. But that's the reason it's expensive because it's worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Purple Army all the way from Scotland. Trends Org's like, there he is. But Purple Army, he is the current extreme champion. And believe it or not. He is one of only two that did not defend his championship at Royal Pain 3. There's only there's only two. Tom the Gamer Freak didn't defend the King of Hell. And Purple Army did not defend the Extreme Championship. So, yes, they technically still are the same champion. But we just didn't have enough room. There was so much going on, so much storylines. Just didn't have enough room to toss them in there. So those guys will defend those championships. Guaranteed at Monopoly in the Bank. My first draft pick is a fact. <laughs> Shots fired. Bang, bang. Mr. G. Q. Smooth. That's right. Mr. Operation Hug the World himself. His face is actually on the title. Right? Meow. But GQ Smooth of the foe. Show, show. Don't take no wooden nickels. The dude knows everything about there is to know about carpentry. And he literally is building America. Uh, and I'm back, faux show show, Robert, perfect, perfect. Um, but yeah, no, seriously, like margaritas, that's my jam. I've been drinking uh, Cayman Jack a lot lately. Uh, they're they're quick, fast, in a hurry, and great out the glass bottles. Um, so if you're out there looking for something quick, they're a little bit on the expensive side, but I think that they're totally worth it. Welcome back to reality, Lady Bells. How are you? But yeah, we might have to have a little South Rebel versus Kane backstage at the end of this night. What do you guys think? What do you think? We obviously can't put Cynical in there. We can't do that. But may, maybe let's see if South Rebel or Kane can, can get the win. 
This is actually Lady Bells' favorite wrestler of the night. She calls him Mr. Pex for days. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday Heat all the way from Philadelphia. He is a uh, he's a collector, collects a lot of classic stuff. Um, he's actually the guy that got me into um, Silverhawks and um, Visionaries. Silverhawks and Visionaries, because I had totally forgotten about both those toy lines, and he brought them back up. He's like, dude, you got to get some. But yeah, uh, big Transformer collector as well. Call him G-Prime. I want to squeeze them pecs. Well, I mean, Philadelphia is pretty close to, to New York. Um, trash talk still going on? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, he does look delicious. <laughs> but yeah, yep, Sunday Heat. You can check him out. Um, he did have a YouTube channel. I don't know if he's still updating or not. On Sunday Heat, check him out on Instagram. Old school friend of the show. 12-hour drive is closer than me. I like his moves. Robert, settle the hell down, man. You treat that man with respect, okay? <laughs> Sunday Heat just looking at two guys looking at their feet. That was weird. It was like Inception or something. Purple Army, the only man with a championship. Of course, uh, GQ Smooth, former um, extreme champion as well. Sunday Heat was actually the king, uh, sorry, the emperor of SCW for an entire year. He actually won the king tournament last year. And when you win the, when you win the tournament, you, you're the king for the whole year. King and queen of the whole year. He's actually the emperor. He puts the man in mammary glands. <laughs> Beating on his chest on the outside. Sends him in. Oh, flying forearm. He laid them out and then started contemplating life. He's like, whoa, where am I? Why am I here? The drugs wore off really quickly. Turns it around. Got him up. A little bit of low blow right through the kilt. Why is it called a kilt? Because I killed the last man who called it a dress. Ducks under. GQ smooth. Caught him. Big snap suplex. Hopefully Heavy D and Undefined Dime are still hanging out because they are in the main event tonight. Heavy D winning the Durstality Championship and, of course, Undefined Dime, the reigning Galactic Championship. And that belt is almost bigger than he is. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Lady Bell says, yipper. Yipper Rooney. Ducks under. No. Oh, drop toe hold in the second rope. GQ Smooth waiting for the time to strike. All I hear is Kane lost to the ref. At least I had a match. Three title reigns, and I'm over like Rover and bend over. <laughs> and I did it all by myself. Nobody making my guy nothing. My promos, my creative wrestler, so South Cynical. Stop acting like George Lopez and get some new material. <laughs> Damn! I love it. I absolutely love it. Of course, here at uh, Thursday Blitz... We still got, we're still ringing in the Chinese New Year uh, because I didn't have enough time to change the ring. I do apologize. Um, big superplex from the outs, from the inside. <laughs> uh, Kane got the super trash talking going on tonight. GQ Smooth smartly rolling out to the outside. And now Sunday Heat trying to put the finale on him. Look at this. Got the cool pin. One, two, no. Speaking of Scotsman, I asked one if anyone wore under the kilt. He said, Nunya, Nunya Weebin. Everything is fine and in working order. What? I think my brother had a rat or something in his room. Are you serious? Wow. Like a like a rat or a mouse? Like was it big? Could you put a saddle on it and put a Barbie on it? I don't know. Kane, you're part of the rivalry between Bells and I. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta pet the rat. Like, hello, little Randy. GQ Smooth missing the opportunity. No. Take two boots to the face. Oh, GQ Smooth caught with a tie up. That's the thing about these three way dances, man. You never know which way it's gonna. Hell no. You never know which way it's gonna go. Sunday Heat once again looking for that superplex. Oh, no. No, he's not. No. Sunday Heat all the way from the top. 
Power slam! Going for that quick pin! One, oh, and there he is. Purple Army to break it up. Purple Army stuck him with the Sun doesn't shine. Got him up. No! Sunday Heat got too much momentum. Coming back down. GQ Smooth starting to stir. Sunday Heat caught him. Ooh, side Salto slam! Sunday Heat waiting for the right time to strike. Purple Army rolling the outside. Going for that pin. Will it be enough? One. No. No. He's a good trash target. <laughs> like I am. Putting him under Bell's wing. Ooh. Make him a great rivalry. True. Purple Army outside doing knee push-ups. Because I can't say girl push-ups anymore with Shay Shy here. Gets all mad at me. Starts sending me death threats. <laughs> Picks up GQ smooth by his ears, slams him down. GQ, big hard uppercut. Takes him down. Oh, kick to the face. Didn't even see it coming. And Purple Army trying to put the finishing touches on this mat. Got him up, over, plants him. I would never. Nah, right. GQ taking down Purple Army. No. South, south. Sunday Heat. Got him up, plants him with that high impact DDT. GQ Smooth counting his toes through his boots, going for the pin. One, two, three, Sunday Heat, pecks for days, takes down both men. And that was a really good match, by the way. Um, she doesn't have to send death threats. She would just give you, she just wouldn't give you cookies anymore. But I've been known to withhold cookies, see? <clears throat> withholding cookies is a federal offense i'm just saying okay uh, <laughs> i'm getting god to bless my house <laughs> uh, yummy win um sunday heat picks up a big time win oh you guys hear that oh Future husband right there. <laughs> Make sure you get an old priest and a new priest. Yes, and something blue, something old, something new. Uh, <laughs> wait, that's how that goes, right? That, 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 that's how that goes? New priest, old priest, something white, something blue, something old, and something new. Got to get all that. Maybe something silver. Yeah, you need, you need silver bullets and a wooden stake. Uh, what else do you need for a for a house blessing? One of those things, one of those little statues of like I can't think, but you like bury it outside and have like good plentiful crops. One of those things. Get some sage. <laughs> Make sure you, um, and sage. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe ghost hunters. Lots of sage. I knew it. I knew it was sage. You can bring your lame-ass mid-trash talk all you want, South. It ain't worth my time. Uh, so, Kane, I will ask you. We've only got two matches left tonight. Yeah, we've only got two matches left tonight. Kane, do you want to take on South Rebel in a backstage match? You don't have to. I won't make you do it. But I'm asking, do you want to? Because you are you guys are the one in the trash talking thing. Like, I'm not going to make you, but I'll ask you. Um, Sunday Heat. Okay, we're good. We're caught up. Todd! <laughs> Just make sure there's no doorway to hell in your basement. Yeah, that de definitely check for that. The Sex Psycho! Oh! How the Sex Psycho just could not cash it in, man. Could not get it done. Forget South, forget Cynical. What do the people want? Leave Todd alone! Six Psycho has found himself in numerous high-profile positions, but has been unable to get it done when it counts. Unfortunately, the man does not find himself in the heavyweight championship running any longer. So now he's got to start at the bottom of the barrel and prove himself all the way back up to the tippy top. <clears throat> How many canaries can you fit under a Scotsman kilt? Depend on the length of the perch. I like it. I like it. Wait, how how much how much perch space does a canary take up? I'm asking for a friend. 
Not because I have a kilt and would like to try it. Um, leave Todd alone! Don't you let me down, Kane. <laughs> we don't have basements in Florida either. Oh, basements are great. You gotta get a basement. <laughs> Shay wants me to fight, so I will. Well, who the hell is she to say that? Is she your manager? Hmm? Hmm? Why does that sound like Yoda? Hmm? Everybody wants Todd. <laughs> Everybody wants Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd TV Spears coming to the ring. She was the only people to say anything. <laughs> I beat Todd. I'm a representative of the people. <laughs> Dimey, welcome back. Dime, you're in the next match. Just letting you know, you're in the next match. I should throw a bomb in my house and just leave it. Uh, Yod! What the hell does Yod mean? I don't know what Yod means. Alright, let me... I'm gonna try something here. Waiting for Todd to get all fashionable place in the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Golden Threat, former Operation Hug the World champion himself. All right, I think this is what I want. I'm going to try something here. I may crash and burn. I'm not sure. It, it may happen. Let's see. I thought it was here, but I guess it's not. What does that do? Aha. Hang on. Hang on. We're learning. Okay, I made a poll. My very first poll. Okay, it's at the top of the chat. You guys can click to see if Kane should take on South Rebel tonight in a backstage match. So, uh, six Psycho chilling on the ropes. I don't know how this works, but it's up for three minutes. You guys click on it and go for it. Indeed, I cut both my mom's and my niece's boyfriend's hair a few hours ago. Are you serious? Weren't you drinking tonight? What's going on? Shay is here for the people. Bells is for herself. And Kane, I got nothing. Damn. Stuart Pulse. I just learned how. That's my first one in the history of ever. I will try to do them more often, South. I promise. Golden Threat got Six Psycho up, and Six Psycho takes him down quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. And no drinkies tonight. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That's awesome, though. I didn't know you cut hair. You make models. You stream. You grow kick ass uh, beards. And now you cut hair. Sex Psycho has got himself a chair. Todd just takes down Golden. Takes the chair away from him. Speaking of hair, I'm getting it cut soon. How long is your hair currently? Caught him with that elbow right to the face. I've done many polls for my channel, I mod. Well, bravo, South. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'm still going to, Dan. Ooh. Long. My hair was long for a long time. Two and a half years. Almost three. Something like that. Oh, big low blow right there from uh, Golden Threat. And now Todd got a chair. Todd, no! No, no! 
Don't use the chair, man. Don't use the chair. Up over and out goes Todd. Six psycho. Haven't had my hair cut in a year. That's it? Just a year? Psh. Six psycho, the quick even flow. Takes him down. One. Getting out of nine degrees overnight here. Gross. That sounds awful. Why is there a light of God underneath that ring? <clears throat> Six. Got the table. Todd. Sliding in. That sounds awful. Golden threat with a knee breaker. Todd definitely celebrating a perhaps way too early. Todd getting fired up. The crowd loves themselves. Some Todd TV spears. Todd getting thrown into that damn canvas. Poll is about to close. Make sure you click on the top of your chat. Drop it down and say yes or no. Should Kane take on South Rebel tonight? Just a few more seconds left in this poll. It's cold here in the UK. I don't have heating. Are you serious? Not like a fireplace or anything? Big back body break. And now he caught on the side. Salto slam. Golden threat is in the rule of this match. 80% people say yes, Kane. So it turns out that Shay is the speaker of the people. She's also the agent of Cookie. She's the speaker of the people. I should make you poppers. I don't know what poppers are, but it sounds good. Come on, auto mod. I'm going to punch you in the tit. Wait, what happened to auto mod? I got lost. Can I... Can I crash y'all's house, anyone? <laughs> like Nerdy said, I cut hair, sculpted, and got awesome beards. <laughs> That's all people care for. Todd had enough of this sick psycho. Gonna take him out. Super plagues. I'm delayed. I missed the poll. I demand a repoll. Would you have said no? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have a fireplace, but I can campfire in my room. Go for it, and then get yourself some of this Coke that tastes like a campfire. It's a double win. Oh, yeah, I can also draw pretty high. Right. The fact you can say you will punch someone in the tit, but it... But... But fatty trick... Are you serious? Is that what happened? Oh, jalapeno pop is all around. Again? Again what? Heavy D in the main event tonight. Undefined Dime in the main event tonight. But beforehand, we've got Golden Threat versus Six Psycho versus Todd TV. Golden Threat tosses Six Psycho off that damn ring post. Cheddar, sour cream cheese? Oh, that sounds awesome. I say yes to the 80%. Good job, Murphy. We're doing it. Oh, and that front face DDT. Plants on the outside. Todd staring up at the lights. No fly zone punch tits passable. Okay. <laughs> it happens. Cream cheese, of course. Double. Oh, quick. Oh, he turned that inside out of that power bomb, and it's Todd versus Golden Threat. And Golden Threat's not going to play for these shenanigans. He may wear bell bottoms, but he's not going to deal with it. Look at that float through DVD. Todd's down. Psycho's down. One, two, Gold. Oh! I thought it was over too, GT. Ja, lap, eno, or delicious. <laughs> Stu knows what I'm talking about. Flying clothesline takes down six, psycho. <clears throat> I've been after sea graze poppers for a couple years now. What? What's a sea graze? What the hell's a sea graze? Is that like, like, Clam or something? Big! Catch him on the right hook. Caught him with a jab. GT's down, but Todd's stirring. I'm drinking apple juice right now. Smart. Oh! Turns him inside out with that damn DDT. Plants down Todd. Psycho again, trying to make it back away up the ladder. Two! And he does it! Six Psycho steals it. Wow! That should not have been Six Psycho's victory. Let's be honest. Todd and Golden Threat put him through the damn ringer. And at the end, GT got taken down quick, fast, and in a hurry. Could not retaliate. Look at this. Pow. Wow. Dang. I think Kane will win for no other reason. He follows me. 
Damn right. You should all be following Stupid Asso. Seriously. Every damn one of you should click Stupid Asso's name and drop that damn follow. Stu is a fantastic hangout. An awesome damn nerd. Got so much stuff that I want to open. Uh, now that it's booked and they got verbal, viol uh, verbal validation, I'm hearing much from the blockheads. <laughs> Six Psycho. Dude, couldn't get it done in the big match, but second, second chance is always, always the opportunity. All right, main event time. Main event. Fun fact about that emote. I got anally probed by a chair and I'm sitting in <laughs> sitting in that night. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Um, I was seeing I've been following Stu since 2019. No sub Zilla, you the damn man then. You the damn man. That's right, everybody should seriously be following Stu. And Stu Padasso's in the main event too. Facts, it violated me. But did you like it? It's a big, bigger question here. Big question here. Just wait to see the match, because if Kane Superhost wins, uh, he is all good. But if he loses, then he's all losing champ. No, I cried. It was not consensual. Ooh, that sucks. That's funny you made a gif out of it, though. You know, good thing out of a bad situation. Moving emote, whatever the hell it's called. You can almost see your nipple in that gift too. It's almost there. <laughs> yeah, them thingies. You need to wrestle first to have an opinion. Even money that undefined pins me. <laughs> no, no, that won't, that won't happen tonight. Not that one. Not that one, Heavy. Got to fight Big Red. Ow. Uh-oh, Stu. Two years, nine months. All right, here we go. But that's because, didn't you have to change your name, Twisted? Three years, almost four years for Shay Shy? Damn. I'm old. I think you had to change your name or something. Sick Bay prepped and ready. It is a very rarity that Red Walrus comes to the ring without a championship belt around his waist. Seriously. His pedigree is unlike any other in SCW. The dude is the guaranteed most decorated champion in SCW history. He's the first ever to complete the Grand Slam and own all the major titles to hold that title. Red Walrus is a beast for a reason, and it is just weird to see him come to the ring without a belt. Yeah. At Royal Pain, it was three. <clears throat> it was a three-way dance. Undefined Dime, Six Psycho, Red Walrus, and Undefined Dime took the belt from Red Walrus by pinning Six Psycho. Red didn't even get a chance to get pinned in that match, and he comes out championship list. And you know what? Undefined Dime refuses, absolutely refuses, to stay down. Oh, did you pin red? Don't you lol at me. You know how much damn information I got to retain for this stuff? You settle down, Dime. Dime's over there like, no, I'll get your fucking facts right, bro. Get your fucking facts right. <laughs> I was followed longer than that. <laughs> Undefined Dime, the six million cent man is your galactic champion. And damn, does that belt look good around the waist a little Bane. Dime is set and ready to never, ever lose that championship belt. So that's why this match was booked the way it was booked.
<laughs> Lil Bane. <laughs> Lil Bane. If you ask Undefined Dime, personally, he thought he would never hold a championship. Yet when it came time, after his entire revamp, dude comes out on top. Reminds me of that one time at band camp we played Cithero and Stu gave me a wedgie. Speaking of Stu, Stu Padasso, streamer right here on Twitch and current Welsh champion. We mentioned it before, Stu, the only person on night two of Royal Pain to retain his championship. Every other title changed hands. Every single one. But Stu managed to keep it. And that is why he is in the main event tonight. <clears throat> I'm changing my Twitch name in 18 days. Why? That's an odd time. Why 18 days? That's not. That's like the middle of the month. Um, my opinion is still my opinion, regardless of how much credibility I have. <laughs> True. It was Boba Patch that saved me. And speaking of character revamps, ladies and gentlemen, Heavy D with a no-nonsense entrance. He is your current Durstality champion. Heavy D somehow. We don't know how. Heavy D is a former, I believe he was a galactic champion. I believe he held the galactic championship belt. A former high profile wrestler and somehow found his way in the tag team division and he did okay in the tag team division but you could tell in all of his matches it was not what his passion was his passion was singles competition he wanted those individual titles he did not uh yeah galactic champion i thought so okay he did not want to just sit there and be tagged in randomly and worry about a partner. Heavy D is too damn good at what he does to be worried about someone else's faults. So that's why just a couple of weeks ago, he turned on his tag team partner, said, I'm done with this lean pockets. And then the very next time you saw Heavy D, he claimed SCW gold and is back in the running. You know what? Cat urine glows under black light. Who the hell cares? I want it back. I thought you were the galactic champion. Again. Again, Dime. There's a lot in this freaking noggin, bro. There's a lot. I'm sorry I missed one little nuance. This is going to be a good match. You know why it's going to be a good match? Because it's literally three on one. That is what undefined Dime, the galactic champion, requested. Dime has stated... He will never give up the Galactic Championship again. Ever. That is why... <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, we, we have it in writing. These contract, these matches are signed contracts before we even do them. They're signed. Right there in the contract. Look, look. Right here. Right here. It says Undefined Dine's name. Right there. An instrument? No! <laughs> Yes, Undefined Dime recruited, recruited Heavy D, the Durstality Champion, and Stu Padassa, the Welsh Champion, and together the three will take on the beltless Red Walrus. If everything you're doing is bad, I want you to know this. <laughs> well, going back to a jobber now. <laughs> yep, seeing the contract. Thank you, Twisted. Thank you. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I just totally weirded out one of my friends. Pat's up on back. What'd you do? Show him the nerdy effect? I see how you're going. Dimey taking on Red Walrus one on one. Stu what and Heavy just hanging out. What in the hell? <laughs> Lethal, it's good to see you though, buddy. Red Walrus putting his head to good use, sliding back in the ring. Red going back out. Was that a mash of retweeted? I quote it. Wait, what? <laughs> you hate seeing me do lie. 
It is great to see you, man. All right, hold on. Will I try and find my balls, for God's sakes? One, two, and three. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Lethal, how are you doing in real life, though, man? It's 3 a.m. in the UK. Not even tired. Don't blame you. Red Walrus gets thrown back in the ring. Dime definitely needs a tag in. One of his cohorts. Dime, watch this. Perfect DDT to Red Walrus. And now Dime going to go up top. Baybaldi going to try to stop him. Dime going to fly. No! Still going at it when I stop. Yeah, yeah, they got it going on, man. Um, a few weeks ago, he was complaining that no music group in the world has 1 billion views on YouTube. Just to inform that BTS now have three music videos with over a billion views. The first act in the world to do so. Wow, really? Um, it's an achievement. Spread the good, spread the good gospel. I'm doing good. Weather fucked over a trip visit with my buddy from Twitch, but it's okay. Yeah, weather's being crazy. Dime with the big time stretch out and look at this. Heavy D, Stu, putting Red Walrus on the shoulder of Dime. Oh my God, look at this. Triple powerbomb to Red Walrus. Put him out of commission. Does so. Oh my God. Wow. Going for the pin on Red. One, two. Ooh. Wow. Is Red still alive? What is even going on right now? We're getting dumped on with ice and snow tomorrow. Gonna be a fun drive to work. Just skip it. Fun facts about Dime. Dime has 118 ridges around the edge. True. Sharp as attack. Red getting sent into enemy territory. Dime definitely needs to tag in. One of his friends. Red is getting betrayed. Oh, and the ref goes down. Red Walrus definitely going to take advantage of the rest being down. Look at this. Exploder suplex into the turnbuckles. All we get is rain and coldness. Yeah, and your cobblestone streets. You can't hold down Red. Tusk, tusk. Rip, ref. Oh, and now Red is on a rampage. Just constant suplex after suplex on dime. Three versus one against me or three versus one against Red? <laughs> we'll just have to see how the cookie crumbles. Um, if that's what Rebel is, he's dead. And now Dime took down Red. Dime needs to tag in one of, who's he going for? Who's he going to tag in? Nobody. Dime doesn't know what he wants. Dime is going to tag in Stu. Here comes Stu Padasso. Stu, the freshest man, the fresh maker. Going against Red Walras. Tosses him off. I'm confused. Oh, Red with putting the knee to the throat of Stu. I haven't teamed up with Heavy D in since so long. Well, you, you, we talked about it before. You were sort of swaying down towards the bottom, and Heavy D was even in the damn tag team realm. So it was, it was just odd. Like, you guys would very rarely cross paths anyway. And now Red trying to take it to Stu. Powerbomb position. Tosses him across the ring. Dime definitely trying to get the breather. Stu Padasso. Death taxes and money. you damn right. Tusk! Tusk! Tusk to Stu! Going for the pin. One, two. Stu kicks out. Oh, damn, Stu. Hate to be you right now. Poor Lean Pockets was pizza part of the team. A second Tusk! Oh, my God. Two Tusks back to back. Two red. God, I can't put him down. Stu has got that thick skull. Oh, and red with a hard clothesline. Second clothesline takes him down. Stu trying to come back. Red flying the big ham hock. Hits him right across the chest. Stu definitely got rocked. Red showing why he's the most decorated champion. See why Red scares me now? You damn right. Stu caught him. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. The strength of Stu. Oh no. Again. After the power bomb. How can Red withstand this? Look at this. Stu going to show his strength again. Triple power bomb again. Red just collapses. Stu going for that pin on Red. Ref, one, two. No, not enough. Not enough. Stu can't believe it. They need to get Heavy D in there. 
They got to get Heavy D in there now. And now the Germans. The Canadian Provincial Superplex folds him up. Stu got crushed into the pin. Heavy D just streaming. Two. Oh, Stu kicks out. Stu digging down deep to get it. And now Red putting the boots to the face. The big man, the most decorated champion ever, trying to win this match against all the odds. Tusk, and he's bleeding. The third Tusk. Chop block right to the face. Going for the pin. Stu is down. Dime breaks it up at the last possible second. Oh, my God. Wow. Red dropping the whole body weight right on Stu's sternum. Damn. Stu trying to do whatever he can. Shoulder block. They need to get Heavy D in here. The fresh man needs to get in. Heavy D. No. And Stu tags in Dime again. This is not good. This is a bad idea. Dime is beaten already. They need to get the fresh man in. Dime putting the hard elbows right to Red Walrus constantly. Dime sends him across. Watch this. Dime off the ropes. Caught him high knee to the face. Poor Heavy. <laughs> Does someone drug test Red? Probably not. They don't have drugs in Canada. Caught him. Dime moonwalking DDT. Plants down Red. Dude. Dime's a soft one of Red's legs. And now Dime missed with the flying moonsault earlier, will he attempt it again? Dime pursed up high for way too long. Dime needs to make a decision. Dime's waiting way too long for the top. No! Crash and burn. 2K. 2K glitches. It happens. And Red is going to take advantage of this. Heavy D still waiting for his opportunity to strike. Dime has to pick the right time on his zoomy. Red, huge choke slam takes him down. And Dime with a back body drop, doing what he can. Dime needs to, oh no. Dime doesn't care about tagging. When you're the galactic champion, watch this. Folds him inside out, looking for that flow through. Now Dime going to drag him in. Going for the pin. Dime wants to put him away again. Ref, one, two. Three, undefined dime again takes down the Red Walrus. It's over. Heavy didn't have to do anything. Heavy was just the muscle. Heavy was just there. It's just intimidating. What a dream. You're welcome. <laughs> Should have been over the first triple power bomb. You know damn right. Heavy carried the team to the victory. <laughs> Heavy was our threesomes, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm tired about. Stu did a damn good job, though. Stu did a damn good job. But I like that Dime wanted to put him away. See, that, that tells you something about what, what the six million cent man is all about. The dude knew that he could tag in Heavy. And get the win instantly. But Dime wanted to do it his damn self. Stu's bleeding. He's OP. Stu went full time X on red. <laughs> Took a licking and kept on ticking. Damn right. Look at this, man. Is this, is this a faction? Is this a things to come? Three champions literally laid waste to the Red Walrus, and that is how Blitz Takedown closes. Your winner, Undefined Dime. That was a pretty good match. I, I wish that Heavy D would have got tagged in, and then, and then Dime got the pin, but, you know, let's take a look at the power rankings. Oh, let's see if there's any, let's see if there's any news. Sunday Heat has been cleared by the medical staff to compete again. This superstar is ready to make an impact. Uh, he damn sure did tonight. The Raven has won the Nerd Championship. We knew that. Spaceman Steve picked up the Luncha Belt. I picked up the Operation. And Sunday Heat... Oh, that was his original injury. Okay. All right. So he's, he's uncleared. We're good. We're good. Uncleared? Is that right? Let's look at the power rankings here. 
<clears throat> Dime is on top. Corporate Lady Bells, Red Walrus, Raven, Spaceman, Murphy, myself, Dennis, Golden, Lucha, Six, Jonesy, Trance, who's actually moved to Monday, so Trance shouldn't even be here. Show, J Dub somehow, Allison, Dan, Listwitz, Orca, Officer Doll, PlayStation Bra, Heavy D moved up a whole bunch. Honey, Upper Decker, Jinxie, Stu, there's Stu. Stu stayed in the same spot. Uh, Fallen, Prophet, Cosplayer, um, GQ, Hero's Mom, Gator Croc. Gator Croc shouldn't be here anyway. He's moved to Monday. Meta Maguey, uh, Todd, Retro, moved to Monday. Purple, Super Chica, Little French Lady, Fence, Wicked Ruby. There's Sunday. Yeah, Sunday he was hurt. Babality, who's technically not on this show. He's technically on Monday, but he's on every show, so I don't know. Uh, Poop Witch, Ice, Jesse, Cyber, and Fireflower rounds it out. So there you go. Undefined Dime. Oops. This is supposed to be a dream. I never won a championship, and it's in first place. Dime, that's what happens, man. That's what happens, dude. It, here, here's the thing. And it, this goes out to everybody. This goes out to everybody. It is any given night anything can happen. Okay? It's simulated games, man. Everybody's at 100%. You never know what the night could do. Could call them million dollar heat. Ooh, nice pick except the blood on my face. It looks good though, man. I uh, kind of hate being 5'11". Why you hate being 5'11"? Do you want to be smaller? All right. We got ourselves a special match. We've got to do. Kane's toothbrush and South Rebel have been exchanging words. And they got to settle their score backstage. Well, I'm never in singles matches, or at least so I'm at least I'm prepared. True, true. I'm short. Done talking. I'm fighting and eating. Um, but yeah, yeah. Any given night, anything can happen. This is gonna be quick. South is gonna get pinned within five minutes. Oh, probably quicker than five minutes. Most backstage matches don't go over like three. I'm literally the shortest person. You're not smaller than Kona. Kona's like 4'9 in real life. <laughs> like, the game doesn't even go as short as Kona is. No. South Rebel, Kane's toothbrush battling backstage after all those damn words they exchanged. 5'7? That's not short. Lady Bells is like 5'1. She's small. Small child. Small child. And now Kane got those tattoos in real life. South Rebel Kane actually pretty well matched up with height wise. Kane's a little bit taller, not by much. South Rebel gets sent down the damn hallway. South is dressed like three ninjas kick back. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's Tum Tum and Rocky and Colt. I remembered all three of them bitches. Small. Thank you. Thank you. I stopped growing. I got hit with puberty at a young age and then stopped growing when I began high school. At 5'7", five, five, seven's not, not short, though. I'm 5'7", five, 5'9". Five, I have weird body proportions. I'm 5'1", but we're size 9 shoes. Um, I don't know. Is that big? Is that, Are those small feet? Big feet? I don't know. Um, one of my friends are 5 foot. Small. 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 Uh, I could never be... Wait. I... I could have never pulled their names like that. I'm amazed. Me neither, dude. I, I always remember Tum Tum because it was stupid and I hated it. <clears throat> and I was like, I was like, okay, Tum Tum. And then I was like, oh yeah, Rocky was the cool one. And I could not remember the damn middle child. But yeah, Colt. Colt. Uh, it's a big size for Lady Bells. Uh, yeah, that's an easy one. Yeah, Tum Tum's the, the easy one. Because I was like, that is just so stupid. Kane with a spear backstage. Who is that over there chatting? Who is that? There's somebody backstage chatting. Is that somebody? Huh? Is that cynical? Cynical. Are you backstage chatting over there? Dusty is 5'7". I'm a bit taller than him. I guess I'm almost 5'8". Girl? Oh, and Kane! With a damn Impala right there. <clears throat> I'm really bad at measurements, but I'm like 5'13". <laughs> <laughs> Seven foot two. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
I don't want to be that tall, but that's awesome. That's me talking with Heavy D about threesomes and chairs. Watch this. Kane with that float through. Almost a pin in Kane's toothbrush. Backstage takes down South Rebel. The trash talking is over for now. Five, three and a half. Got to have that half. Got to have the half. Called it. Five, three, small. Small. Very small. Very small. You can put Shay Shy in your pocket. Just pick her up. She wants to go to Disneyland. You don't need to buy a ticket. Just put her in your pocket and be like, what's on your pocket? Um, it's a cold drink for later. You can't bring outside drinks. Um, then it's my, um, it's my, uh, bulge. Yes. Yes. I, I have a tuma right here on my thigh and then boom, you get in, you take out the pocket and then she gets like on all the rides. As long as they're this tall, you can ride this ride. It's hand sanitizer. Yes. <laughs> I like Dan Frode and his caveman talk. I like small women. <laughs> Whoa, man. Um, <laughs> I guess South needs a revamp. Wink. <laughs> what, what? South can't even win fake matches. Damn. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Looks like Kane can handle his business. So sorry, Kane. I look at this cynical back talking here. He's like, oh, oh oops, 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 oops. I like small women, but Mary's six foot one. Go figure. Hey, hey, don't be, don't be bringing out QT's measurements. <coughs> Got me an Amazon. <laughs> what are the standings for Monday, Tuesday? Uh, I don't know. I'll take a look. Hang on. Where's that at? That's over here. I gotta load it. My cares have not changed. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Kane right there has got his little, my cares have not changed. So apparently King Norcalius is still number one, even though he lost to lethal. And you know why? You know why this didn't change? Because that, that match technically happened on, um, on a pay-per-view. And the pay-per-views don't um, don't coincide. That's why. That's why they, they they take place on the outside of this ranking scale. Because I had to change I had to change the King Championship over to Lethal. Um, so that's why this hasn't um, changed up. Shay Shy Two X Files Poindex Meese. But again, this isn't accurate. We're gonna have to wait till the next week. Um, till the next week fires up, and then it'll change stuff. So, yeah. That's what it is. I will bend the knee to the king. None, nonsense. Cave women wear. Uh, so they haven't, but who cares? But you won. True. So, yeah. Because Fable Vixen should be way high because she won the Angels Championship. So, yeah. That, that should have changed. We'll see how it does once we rotate through the full um, next Monday show. And we'll look at it then. All right. Well... That concludes another week here at the Nerdy Effect. Um, I, I really hope you guys had a lot of fun tonight. Like, seriously. Like, like if I could be serious for a moment. I need to bring out my Canadian flag. Um, I, I, seriously, I hope you guys had a lot of fun tonight. Because that's, that's the entire goal. Wh whether what's going on in the, in the world is good or bad, like I still would like to perform and have a great entertaining evening. That is the entire goal every night. But when the world is bleak, you have to try a little bit more. And I, I truly hope that maybe I could take your, your minds off of how things are uh, just for three hours and six minutes. That was my goal and hopefully I did so. And if not, I will try harder next week. So let me, let me do a quick rundown what's gonna happen next week. So Monday night, normal Nerdy Effect show, but it is the streamer cash-in. Robert Allen Baker won the random lottery draw at the beginning of February. And can you guys believe, can you guys believe that we're at the end of February already? Where the hell? Where the hell is this stupid year gone already? So yeah, Monday, we will do the He-Man and 80s night. And we'll also talk about... Um, We'll also talk about my my actual video numbers. And we'll figure out where we land on that. Because I know how to make a poll now. I know how to make a poll. We're already in March. Like, geez, no doubt. Uh, yeah, my grandson's birthday is next Thursday. That's crazy. He's going to be four. Wow. 
That's wild. I still remember when you told me like he was going to be born. Like that's anyway. Um, I think I'm going to redeem those points on Tuesday when I wrestle. Well, you don't have to wait to your night. See, that's the thing, South. You can do it on Tuesday or Thursday night. It doesn't matter. You still fight for your brand championship regardless. Almost my birthday month. Woot, woot. True. And Dante's was uh, just a couple weeks ago. Um, so yeah, and then we're going to have, um, on next Tuesday night, we're going to go do some more trading cards because I don't have, I don't have time to do it on Monday because we're going to be doing He-Man stuff. So we're going to do trading cards on Tuesday, followed by SCW Wrestling, and I'm not sure what we're going to do next Thursday. Christmas, get your ass. Who knows? Maybe I'll win one that really counts. That's all that matters, man. So that's the, uh, that's the next stuff. Uh, also on Tuesday, we're going to do the drawing for the next, um, uh, the next, uh, Streamer, I can't think of the word. Streamer day. So like Robert Allen Baker won, March 1st will be on Tuesday. I believe that's how calendars work. But yeah, so it'll be on Tuesday. So if you're here, you'll automatically be in the running and you might get to decide what we're going to do at the end of March. Can be anything. Apparently already, Shay Shy is looking for a Disney wrestling stream, which would be very interesting. Um, that's my anniversary. March 1st is your anniversary? Uh, well, that means you won't be here. So that means she can't win it. Yes. Yes. We're definitely doing it on March 1st. 100% doing it on March 1st. Yes. That way I don't have to change all these damn characters in a Disney outfit. Yes. Kane will bow down to me saying, sorry, not sorry. Yes. Victory is mine. Been lurking the entire time. Love. Dante, thank you so much, man. Seriously. I hope you've been having a great night. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope I brought a smile to your face tonight. I hope it was good. Um, <laughs> that was supposed to happen for 2022. Oh, that's when we're going to make Tandis's wife for a night. That sounded weird. Don't quote that. I will prop this phone up in the swanky ass restaurant so fast. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine like this, like dim lit, hang on, a, a computer, computer show over synergy. That bitch wasn't listening to me. Did you guys hear that? All right. Can you can you picture this? Mood lighting. Candle. Wait, we can do candle too. Hang on. We can do candle. Where's my candle? What the hell's my candle? Somebody stole my candle. Why don't I have my candle? We can't do this. I've lost my joke. Oh, thank God. Oh, I almost lost the Durst candle. That would have been bad. I got to finish this joke. Where's my lighter? Damn it. I got to do this joke. <laughs> it went to Candleland. This joke is too important not to do. All right. Show prep. I didn't think I was going to need a Durst candle tonight. All right. So, all right, here we go. Actually, wait a minute. Stop making me laugh, y'all. I'm trying to do this joke. Quit. Quit. Stop, stop making me laugh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you know, honey bunny, we've been married for so long, and I honestly just just can't wait to spend the, even more the rest of my life with you. And, uh, well, the taking you to this fancy restaurant and, you know, renting that limo and all that jazz, it just, it makes every night just so much more special. And then on the other side of the candle. Ahem, yeah, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. He, he's about to do the drawing. Yeah, just, just hold on. Just wait. Just wait. Um, we're, we're on our anniversary night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I, I know. But hang on, this is this is real important. This is all Disney stuff. Just, 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 just hang on, just hang on. Um, but I thought, I thought we were this. We're spending our, our time tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I gotta, I, I might win. I, I might win, and then I can make everything Disney. Um, 
I can make everything Disney. Yeah, but this is different. You you can't make my creator wrestler character Disneyfied because of this. Are we going to have the Crab Rangoons tonight? I, no, hang on. Let me let me do this. Let let me let me get in this hang on. He's about to roll it. Just hang on. What the hell is going This whole conversation really <laughs> This is real life right now, babe. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, <laughs> oh God, well, that's real though. That's real. We get the mimosas with the muddles. <laughs> Somebody else scared for the product of his hair near the. Cl it's not that flammable, I don't think. Yeah, it's it's pretty stiff. Pretty stiff. There we go. You blockhead. Bleach would understand. My mimosa is a bad case of the muddles. Uh, hey, Natty, I'll be here, and if I win, I'll do the Disney wrestling stream in honor of Shay. Damn it, Dime. Um, yeah, I was not ready for this. Typically, my lighter and candles are right there. And where's my bonus candle? I wonder where my, my second Durst candle's at. All right. Uh, Sal, have a great night. Not that flammable. <laughs> Flash the nerdy pretending to be the human torch. <laughs> uh, fire! <laughs> um, yeah. So, I hope you have a fantastic night. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend again. Nerdy Effect will be back on Monday. Flame on! And who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll do the drawing on Monday. Maybe we'll do the drawing on Monday. And that way, Shay Shy can have a wonderful damn... A romantic evening without having to worry about logging to this damn show. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys would, please follow the raid. Tell them, everybody. Tell them wherever you go. The nerdy effects set you. Throw them out there. Boom. Call me Tommy from Non. Tommy Mongrel. I will try to remember. That would be extra special, but no pressure. We might have to do that. We might have to do that. All right, guys. Seriously, I want you to have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Do whatever you got to do. Keep yourself safe, warm, happy, because weather's crazy. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. Three, two, one. Let's roll out of here again, please. Follow the host, Nerd Circle, to ya. Boom ya. Bye-bye. Nerdy effect. It's the nerdy effect. Nine point... Oh, 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 o